Hey guys, it's Nick guys. We're gonna be doing some PvP action today and we're gonna be using my heroes to go against my buddy Malacrux. He's another YouTuber's Cosmo. It's break 224. I'm gonna check out how he does against all my heroes, which is Lavonica. Pretty much all my top heroes that are uh, break through 20 and um, so all these guys are break through 20 up to about uh, Roseland. I'm gonna be using also Creation, uh, Gunslinger, um, Mikael, Michael, and then uh, maybe Ronin as well, but we'll see. But anyway, we're going to go and give you a brief uh, rundown of what he has on his uh, his Cosmo. Alright, so the first hero I'm going to be using is a 9 Sacred Light, uh, 8 Unholy Pact, Lavonica, with running him with Rudolph, and he's also got 5 victory launch, and then uh, Trace. So the way, we're doing th the way we're doing this is we're going to be using Insignias and, uh, and the Talents as well, but we're not going to be using any Warden, so I'm going to make sure that i got no Warden on these guys before I go ahead and throw them out. I think I may have a warden real quick. Nope, but not. Alright, so cool. So this is gonna be easy because we're gonna be attacking him. So we're gonna be using just pretty much hero by hero. And uh let's go ahead and start. And I'm gonna be running this like I'm I'd be doing it in Lost Battlefield. So let's go ahead and see what we can do against this freaking Cosmo. And he's one of my friends, so that makes it makes this even easier. Alright, where's this guy at? Where's this Cosmo? There we go. Alright. So first Let's go ahead and run my Lavonica against this Cosmo. There we go. Oh, quick work of him. Let's get another look at that because we didn't really get a decent look at that. Well, we did, but I was kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of like paused. But all right, so there we go. Kind of in the corner, but all right, there we go. Let's go and drop Lavonica again. So, all right, well, he got a little bit more of a proc off that time. So it looks like, let's see how long his Cosmo can last against my freaking, my Lavonica. And he's dead. All right, so about what I expected, okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and throw Lazulix down. And again, we're gonna be doing this like we'd be doing, uh, this is my Lost Battlefield setup. So Lazulix, I ex actually run with the same pet, uh, Mini Angie. And we're going to see how Cosmo does against uh, Lazulix. It'd be crazy if my Cosmo finishes him off. I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly what I have on my Lazulix real quick. Because I realized that I only got, I showed you guys only the Lavonica. It's nuts, man. He's doing pretty well against my freaking Lazulix. This doesn't look like he's going to kill him off, but... And my Lazulix doesn't even have a uh, force ward on the the only healing that he's getting is from the mini Angie. This is nuts. I may <laughs> I may have to consider a freaking a uh, damage build after this. So it doesn't look like Wish I could fast forward this, but <laughs> this is pretty nuts. And remember, a uh, big part of freaking Cosmo is he can't be frozen. He, he the uh, Lizalixis freezes. He's immune to Lizalixis freeze. So this does not look like he's gonna kill him at all. I'm going to fast forward this part. <laughs> So, did not kill each other at all. Alright, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what I had on that Lazulix. So, that was a 9 Sicker Light, uh, 8 Survival Lazulix. And then uh, a 5 Malaise and mostly HP on this guy. Alright, next guy we're going to go ahead and throw out is my Boogeyman. So, Boogeyman 
if I can freaking click on it because the server base is kind of hidden. Uh, Boogeyman is nine circle light. Actually, go, let me go and put the. You know, we'll go and leave that on there. Now, you know, I want to go ahead and uh, throw that revite on him. Go and throw that revite. And uh, he's got uh, 5VL, and then he's got dodge for his traits. Pretty sure that uh, <laughs> uh, the hill giant that uh, he has on the base is not going to get in the way of me attacking this Cosmo. <laughs> All right. This is something that I was talking about in one of my vids. You guys see how he just kind of shut down that boogeyman? That was pretty nuts. Like, that's pretty nuts. And, this, like, I asked him, like, how do you run your Cosmo? Do you run him with... What do you, how do you run him in Lost Battlefield? And he said uh, he uses Wicked Armor and he also uses uh, a uh, Ace Survival. So, that's exactly what I wanted him to use. Because that made... Uh, really, that made the most sense. All right, let's try this again. You just cook my boogeyman. All right, <laughs> now let's go ahead and I'm gonna go in and show you guys exactly what I have in my Anubis. So Anubis is nine wicked armor. He's got uh, eight revite on him. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and switch over to that that unholy pack. Yeah, let's go switch that unholy pack. And he's got eight revite, and then uh, he's got the uh, reapster pet on him because that's what I use in Lost Battlefield. Five burning plate. And then uh, accuracy and uh, attack and HP. All right, let's go ahead and attack uh, Malacrux with this guy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, line up, don't want to zoom out. All right, who will win this one? <laughs> He's just one shotting my Anubis, dude. <laughs> what the heck? He just didn't. Nubis couldn't even touch him. All right, you know, let me try that wicked armor, Nubis, bro, because <laughs> that was pretty ridiculous. I want to switch back over to that wicked armor. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> that was pretty nuts. All right. And this is what I like about that. I, I'm attacking him because I can go ahead and just switch right over to the next talent. And I keep zooming out. All right. And it's not like these heroes are weak. I mean, yeah, he has a breakthrough 24 freaking Cosmo, but it's not really going to make that much of a difference, honestly. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's try my Cosmo versus his Cosmo. My Cosmo is 9 Circle Light. He's 8 Revite. He's also got a 5 Force Ward on him and then uh, HP traits mostly. So let's go and try my Cosmo against his and see how, it, how they stack up against each other. All right. Actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and throw a mini Angie on my Cosmo to make it a little bit more, a little more fair. All right, let's go ahead and attack him with this guy. And I keep doing that. All right. My Cosmo versus his Cosmo. And my Cosmo is actually 8 revite too. Cosmo's just frozen up, man. <laughs> okay. My Cosmo's the one with eight revites, so how how am I getting stunned up? My Cosmo can't do anything. <laughs> My Cosmo's not doing anything at all, man. Oh, it's because you know what it is? Because my Cosmo is attacking other stuff. So it's not gonna be really really if we can somehow get rid of all the buildings and then finally start attacking his Cosmo, but the only thing that's gonna happen, I don't think that's gonna happen at all. So so far, the only hero is like hero that has killed this guy is my Lavonica. That's the only freaking hero that has killed uh, his Cosmo. So his Cosmo is doing pretty good. I'd really like the nine wicked armor on his Cosmo. I need that skin so I can get nine wicked armor on mine, dude. 
mine is just frozen up the entire the entire time. See if I can get a freaking proc. Let's try that one more time. See if I can get a proc on his Cosmo. Finally, I, for, I didn't forget to. <sighs> nope. And mine's about to get finished off even faster. Maybe. No, I don't think my Cosmo's gonna get anything on this guy. All right, so let's just all right. So let's just go ahead and move on to my Dove Keeper. So my Dove Keeper, going to show you guys her. Dove Keeper is nine and holy packed, eight brute force. She's got Bubble on her. She's got five force ward, and she's also got accuracy and attack on her. All right, let's jump into this next attack. All right. Don't zoom out. Don't zoom out. All right. So the only thing that She's going to be attacking initially is that freaking hill giant. So I'm, I I fully expect for her to be able to kill off this freaking Cosmo. We this Cosmo's freaking wrecking me. Just wrecking me. All right, let's just go ahead and end that. Uh, let's go ahead and put some other heroes out here. Let's go ahead and jump back in. We're going to go ahead and start with Rosaline in this. All right. And I'm zooming out again. All right, let's see. So I want to go ahead and start out with Rosaline first. I don't foresee... I don't foresee... Uh, Cosmo killing off my Rosaline. Make sure that my boy Malacrux is not. We need to hurry up. Rosalind looks like she's. Rosalind looks like she's doing some damage to Cosmo, but she's not quite getting to the point where she's going to kill them all. To be everywhere, to be without a care. Make sure that I did show you guys. Alright, so Rosaline is 9 Sacred Light. She's got the Fennec Pet on her. Uh, 8 Wicked Armor. 5 Force Ward. And then she's got the HP for her traits. I really like HP on my heroes. Alright, let's go ahead and send. Let's try. Let's try freaking. Uh, let's try a theme. Just no, <laughs> just no. All right, uh, <laughs> all right. Athene did not work out at all. I'll show you guys what I have on her real quick. Athene, I think I did show you guys exactly what she. Yeah, she had nine wicked armor, eight rebite, and with mini Angie on her. Mini Angie on her, five pyre mage because I have been using her for the warden. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and show you guys Skeletica. See what Skeletica can, can do. This guy. So eight wicked armor. You know, what? let's go ahead and move, make that a, a nine. So nine wicked armor, uh, eight survival, uh, five malaise, and then let's go ahead and put Ming Angie on her on uh, Skeletica, and then let's go, oh it's, yeah malaise, and then I got I'll show you guys a uh, dodge on my Skeletica. I spent like twenty three thousand gems for that freaking dodge, so I've not wanted to reroll that. All right. Skeletica, see what you can do, buddy. What the heck? Why can I not? All right, let me do that again. That's one thing I liked about doing it this way. I don't have to worry about freaking. All right, there we go. I can see clearly. I can see clearly now. The rain. Oh my God, that just no. Okay. 
All right, next hero we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and do Gunslinger. Gunslinger is nine Psycho Light, eight Stone Skin. Again, we're gonna go ahead and just give uh, her uh, Mini Angie. Mini Angie, and uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and jump into that. Oh, because I am using her for the Arch Team. She's got five Pyre Mage and Dodge. All right. Malacrux, Malacrux. Thank you very much to Malacrux for letting me do this, bro. I really, really appreciate it. Alright. I wonder what these cop the copters can do to her. Looks like like is are these her copters even doing anything? What is she doing? She's not doing anything. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> completely shut down. It's com completely, completely shut down. Let's try that again. Just shut down, bro. Is Mini Angie even healing her? Doesn't seem like he's. <laughs> doesn't seem like they're even healing her. Okay. Uh, Walla Walla. Come on, Walla. All right. So Walla is level 20 breakthrough. He's got nine Sacred Light, eight Stone Skin. He's got a five VL on him, and then he's got uh, eight, uh, pretty much all HP as well. So let's go ahead and see what Walla Walla can do against uh, this Cosmo guy. This Cosmo guy here. This Cosmo guy here. That'd be funny. That'd be pretty freaking funny if. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just nothing. Okay. Just no, just no. Okay, it's not like freaking my Cosmo, my Walla Walla is weak. Level twenty breakthrough. All right, let's go ahead and check out Sass. I'm pretty sure Sass is not going to do very much, but we're going to try him anyway. And we're going to go and put, um, guessed it, Mini Angie on him. So uh, he's got. Let's go ahead and level, level that up to nine. I'm all freaking leveling up all my freaking uh, Sacred Lights now. Uh, nine Sacred Light. Uh, he's got. Let's go ahead and leave that regenerator on him. I do like that on him. Uh, uh, the fire, five power mage, and then he's got HP. A lot of these heroes I use for warden. You guys will notice that. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and attack Malcrux again with my my uh, my sass and see what he can do. Just no. Okay. All right, now we're going to switch these heroes out one more time. We're going to call that a day. All right, so where is Mal Malacrux? There we go. All right. Let's see, you know, let's start out with the Shura first. It's got that deflect. So I'm wondering if maybe... He just can't do anything. He can't get a proc off. He didn't get a proc off at all. I wonder if he if he gets a proc off, if that makes a difference. Oh, but, you know, he's using, what, 9 wicked armor, so this isn't going to do anything, bro. It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter at all. It's a little bit of deflect damage. Oh, oh, nope. Just no. Just no, just no. All right. Uh, just to recap what I had in my Shura. Use a nine sacred light, eight and holy pack. Got the Rudolph pet on him. Uh, five four sword and uh, HP. Gotta maximize that deflect as much as possible. All right, reflected. Whatever doesn't matter. All right, let's go ahead and throw out. We're gonna throw out next. Let's throw a hot mush. So hot mush. She's got a nine sacred light. She's got eight life drain on her. She's got a bubble. A uh, five unbridled fury, which I love on her because it makes her attack fast as heck. 
Alright, let's go ahead and attack Mala again. <laughs> Just cooks her, bro. Oh my god. Just not, just no heart. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw that freaking eight life drain on this skull knight. I don't see this going well at all. <laughs> and it didn't go well at all. all right. <laughs> that was just fun. All right. Um, storm meter. Yes, yeah, storm meter. Let's go ahead and put mini energy on storm meter. Storm meter is like I said, eight sacred light, eight survival, five energy sap, and then he's got dodge, five, uh, four, five dodge, one, five HP, and one, five attack. All right. Let's see if freaking putting a eight rebite on him makes a difference real quick. Cause this look, it did look like it got some shots off, her, but didn't really get a chance to do much. I'm gonna have to set all my heroes back up, man. Ooh, Michael! Why am I forgetting about Michael, bro? I am definitely forgetting about Michael. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out Storm, uh, freaking that Dove Keeper for Michael real quick. Mikael. Alright. And really, the, to me, these are my, these are the freaking best heroes in the game for me right now, honestly. Some of them are underrated, but I think it's pretty obvious who would win in each, so. Alright. Let's try dropping storm meter again. Just no, because it's got the survive one. And <laughs> there's no. All right, let's go ahead and put out Mikael. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't use Michael. I'm pretty sure. You guys might correct me later and say, "Oh, you already used them," but I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I did not use Michael. Where, oh, Michael's. That's why I didn't use him because he's in here. That is exactly why I did not use him. All right. Because Michael is. It's 10 breakthrough. Okay. Let's go ahead and place. Put that 8 rebite on Michael. On my Mikael. Because I just like pronouncing Michael like that. Cause I'm weird. And where you at? Wait, where they at? Where they at? All right. And let's go ahead and put. Let's put bubble on. Yeah, we'll put that bubble. On. That bubble low. All right. Now let's jump back into this. And. And I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly what I have on my mic after this. Alright. I think that's everybody except for creation. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> Dude, that paralyzes is so nasty, bro. Alright. So that's done. All right, all right. Go ahead and show you guys exactly what I have on my Mikael. It's got nine sacred light, eight rebite, eight bubble low, or eight bubble low, uh, five blinding blow, and then he's got HP traits. All right. Last but certainly not least, because I do like this guy. I got a, a twelve breakthrough, nine sacred light, eight revite. Uh, going to put mini Angie on this guy to cap that off. Uh, five energy, five energy sap. And then he's got the. Uh, those are his traits. He's got 2 5 dodge, 2 5 attack, 1 4 attack, and a 3 HP. Which actually could use some better stats on him. But. Alright, now, last but not least, let's go ahead and see what creation can do. I'm thinking it's not very much. Because this freaking. 
Cosmo has just been wrecking all of our heroes. But Creation is ridiculously tanky. Like, honestly, he's ridiculously tanky. So I really don't think that Cosmo is going to be able to kill him off. But I also don't think that Creation is going to kill him off. Can I get a proc? Can I get a proc? Creation, please. Please. That is, that is the thing about Cosmo, man. He just paralyzes you quick. And that's the good, like, I'm gonna have to, I'm probably gonna have to use, sur start using Survival and Lost Battlefield now, because I've been using 8 Revite, and I like it. I like it a lot. But, I think Survival is the way to go, because Cosmo does die. Uh, he has died on me a couple times in Lost Battlefield, because he can get squishy, but he's also getting... Get, uh, he can be decent as well. I have seen him take a couple uh, of uh, Boogeyman and Dove Keeper hits. I don't think this is gonna. I don't think either of these heroes is gonna die off. Let's go ahead and finish this up, and then I'll go ahead and, and close this out. And that will be the top my top 18 heroes against this guy. And I gotta say that freaking uh, Cosmo's doing pretty nice. And looking at the skin is pretty nice as well. I really like the skin. I think the Cosmo skin actually makes uh, look Cosmo look a lot better. And I do like the whole uh, Spirit of Light concept. <laughs> but my freaking my my creation is not dying, which I love. I definitely want to max this freaking creation out. Uh, not max out because I got level twenty break or uh, level thirty breakthrough now, but at least take my creation to level twenty. Cause he is a beast. Alright, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and close that out and we'll go ahead and uh, finish close out this video because I didn't it's probably gone pretty long. But anyways, uh hope you guys found this video uh entertaining. I definitely did. I had a lot of fun making this video. Uh, another shout out to my boy Malacrux. Thank you very much for letting me uh, attack your Cosmo on your base. Freaking beast hero, bro. And uh, yeah, if you guys are not subscribed to me, go and hit that subscribe right now. Make sure you guys like this video. Go ahead and check the description down below because I will be putting Malacrux's link for his YouTube channel. Again, appreciate y'all. Thank you guys for watching this snake eyes and I'll see y'all later.